Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. I'm Sam. And today we're having a look at the regular wild turkey bourbon. Alright, um, we say regular wild turkey because um, we're quite a big fan of the wild turkey line and we've been drinking a lot of them. There are other ones that rare breed the yeah. Kentucky Spirit and stuff like that. So we're, we're finally actually doing a review of the just baseline wild turkey. Um, again, like all the others, it's Eddie Russell as the master distiller. Um, he's responsible for the Russell's lineup of bourbon as well. Um, they're all made from the same mash bill, every single mm. wild turkey um, rendition, they're all from the same mash bill, so it's really impressive when you get massive differences in flavour. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool and interesting. Now, wild turkey has been around for such a long time and has kind of cemented itself as a really... Like, it's just, everyone knows wild turkey, but I think there's like a massive difference in communities that, like... I think lots of different communities have completely different views of wild turkey as a brand. You have the like general public who aren't like big whiskey drinkers or you know whatever, mm. or not at all. They probably look at wild turkey as just kind of a run the mill cheap, you know, shoddy kind of thing, like maybe yeah. a Jim Beam or something. No offense, Jim Beam fans. Um, <laughs> but then you have like the the whiskey community itself, and like then you, you have the lower tier ones like this, and I think it becomes an uh, an entryway into bourbon because it's really nice and then you have the whiskey nerds that see um, you know the rare breeds and the Kentucky spirits mm. and the 101 you know as just these fantastic bourbons especially the 101 for such amazing prices yeah like it, it becomes like actually like a pretty well-revered um, company in the whiskey nerd kind of community so mm. I think there are there's lots of different views on wild turkey as a company now yeah, on the nose this is Obviously not as deep and rich as the ones that are further up, but yeah. you can definitely see similar notes. Probably because it's the same Mashville. <laughs> you always say Mashville. 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 <laughs> We're in Mashville now, <laughs> baby. What I say, Mashville. Mashville. It's still got some heat to it though. Mm. Like this is our first whiskey of the day, so that'll impact yeah. it slightly. But it does smell. It's got a bit of burn behind it's it. It's got some burn. Also, not using Glen Cairns because we still went back. We the jacket, at this one. Look, I think this one smells basically like the others in regards to like that core wild turkey mm. kind of like. I reckon you could tell that this is a wild turkey. Yeah, they all share those yeah, like core characteristics. It's like, yeah, it's like the middle. Like mm. this one has is just the middle, and then each one kind of adds another layer outside. Yeah. Um, I'm getting like a really nice barrel impact, like a, it just mm -hmm. smells like wet wood. Yep. Um, like the bitterness, getting the tannins and stuff. I'm getting like a, like a tea note, herbal tea. I don't know if it, maybe just a black tea. Like a, or even a green tea. I think a little... It's like soft vanilla, yeah. I reckon. They're not like, the sweetness doesn't jump out on the nose. Not for mm. me. You can get some like fresh apples in there, I reckon, but yeah. kind of like green apples even. Yeah, green apples for sure. Yeah, it's like a bit brighter and lighter. There's some other bright fruit in there as well. Yeah. Mm. There's the sweetness. Yeah, and the smoothness. It's such a... Like, it's not bland, but it's just so easy going. Mm. Um, it's nowhere near as um, deep or rich as the other whiskeys. No. It's finish is also shorter. Oh, yeah. The intensity is way way less the the um finish is way shorter yeah it's got a thinner mouth feel you know everything uh, there's a lot of flavors that are removed compared to this um compared to you know the other like kentucky spirit or something but it does it hold up extremely well holds up bucks, really, really, it really well yeah. exactly for the price i reckon this holds up fantastically i think that this is like a i reckon i i would much prefer this over Buffalo Trace. Oh yeah, for sure. I would prefer this over... A lot of bourbons around this price, I would pick this over every... every I time. think, like, all of them. I don't think so. But, I, but that's, I think, what we're saying, that's kind of why it's so good, is that, like, we're thinking of bourbons that, like, are at a much higher price range that, like, fucking go, yeah. you know, punch for punch with this. So, I think any bourbon you find at this price range is probably going to be... 
and yeah. it will throw it will trade punches with um, bourbons of a much higher price. So it's a fantastic just. I don't know, like you, you have, there's no excuse to not have this on a bar card, like kind of thing. Mm. If you enjoy it, like it's very easy to keep around. I think um, that kind of takes away a little bit of the enjoyment because you know it's like, there's nothing like special, like it's not expensive or rare or anything like that that kind of adds to the enjoyment. Yeah. But as just a really easy drinker that you know you're going to enjoy, this is hard to beat. Like I would still go for the 101 because like it's not that it's like what another twenty bucks something like that. Yeah. It's like this is like forty and that's like sixty. 60. Yeah. So I and I much prefer the one hundred and one, but this I still really enjoy and I would not pass this up if someone offered it to me. Um, the only thing that's throwing me off is like the sweetness. I'm not used to such sweetness. I think a to I think the problem is that the others have the sweetness, but they also have other such things. like strong yeah. other flavors going around, and this one kind of doesn't. It's like got the sweetness, but the other kind of more challenging, strong notes aren't there yeah. to balance it out. Um, I don't mind the sweetness, but I do agree that it is, it kind of tastes- It's a bit overpowering. It tastes, yeah, it's pretty sugar forward, but it, like what, what we said about um, Buffalo Trace, uh, being like uh, less preferred compared to this, I think that Buffalo Trace has like a really simple sugariness, like mm. someone's literally just poured sugar syrup in it, or like hard candy. This, I think the sweetness at least tastes like it's coming from something, you know, yeah, from like normal bourbon notes. Like it's more brown sugar or caramelized and it's and it's more desserty and it's coming from a, fl a place of like actual like notes, not just like plain simple sweetness. Yeah. I think the Buffalo Trace is more simple sweet mm. and it's, it's more a thin as well, I reckon. I reckon this is a much deeper, flavoured whiskey. Yeah, my tongue's still tingling from the last thing I took, which you don't normally get in those cheaper bourbons. Mm. Um, I don't know if people would enjoy that, um, but as someone that likes really high proof bourbons, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah. I don't I don't think it's like got an ethanol flavour. It's getting that, that ethanol tingle, but mm. I'm not getting like a simple cheap ethanol flavour. Yeah, no. You know, there's no metallic. It tastes or... like it's supposed to be part of the whiskey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a cheap whiskey or something. I think, well, wait, what, what order of things are coming out? Is the showdown coming out after this? You'll see in the showdown episode how tricky it is when, when you line them up. We can pair all the wild turkey. Yeah, products. it's it's really difficult. It's really interesting episode. You got to watch it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that all that really kind of encaptures the, how how this can really blend in with some other ones when you have no idea which what's in each glass. You're kind of just guessing. Yeah, it's just a good bourbon. It's just a good yeah. solid bourbon that you can't really go wrong. Yeah. Um, we just love wild turkey. That's probably why we have such a fond yeah appreciation for this, even though it is so cheap we can still appreciate it, yeah, which definitely. normally, especially for us, like this is going to sound extremely, I don't know how to put it, like we don't normally tend to go for lower priced bourbons especially because they yeah. tend to be sweet and ethanol, ethanol, yeah. more, more ethanol -y than like if you were but that's spend not, 100 bucks. It was, and that's not even because like we just want a, like a fancier whiskey, it's because our, the flavours that we prefer are high proof and 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 stuff so but when you buy high proof bourbons the price goes up so it's just coincidental if we could find you know if rare breed was 20 bucks yeah you know, damn well we've we'll been buying that all the time we don't give a damn about the price um i wonder if there's a, i wonder if there is a high proof bourbon that is reasonably cheap like i know russell single barrel is fairly cheap for a being a single barrel it's like you can you can get it for 80 bucks in australia which is fantastic if you are a wild turkey drinker and haven't tried the russell's line buy the damn single barrel. I think we have reviewed it, yeah, if, you wanna, it if you wanna watch it, but if you can find it, buy it, because it is such a good, it's, it, it's for me, it like goes back and forth trading blows with the rare breed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think I prefer the rare breed, some days I prefer the right. single barrel. So yeah. like, it's a damn good whiskey and it's, you know, $20, at least cheaper than the rare breed as well. Mm -hmm. Did forget to say it's 43.4% alcohol, which is kind of like a funny choice for a baseline. I thought, I thought it was 40. You'd think That's it would weird. just go for 40 yeah. or maybe even 43, but 43.4 doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so wild turkey, I 
we have a lot of like trust at, in the in the company. We we've, we've experienced this most of their stuff now, and we've enjoyed pretty much every single All one of them. Yeah. Long um, Branch was a bit iffy, but yeah. I think I reckon we should try that again. Too. Yeah, we should. We kind of yeah. we were kind of dr jaded and drunk when we <laughs> had it last time, but um, yeah, we'll finish this one off. Do check out the Wild Turkey Showdown because that was actually really funny yeah. <laughs> to shoot. All right, thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. We hope you liked it. If you did, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button or at least giving us a little like. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.